have a coronavirus update for you now. Some key metrics are on the rise tonight. The Texas Medical Center is giving us a snapshot of that increase. Let's start with the positivity rate. Last week's seven day average was 16.1%. That's up from the previous week, which was 14.5%. And the hospital admissions number is higher as well. The most recent number is 224 new COVID hospitalizations per day. The previous week, it was 210 hospitalizations per day. KPRC2 health reporter Haley Hernandez is doing a deep dive into that data. She joins us live from the Texas Medical Center. Haley. And Keith, you know, we are in better shape right now than we have been at some points during the pandemic because now there are vaccines available to all age groups, including babies. But doctors are still alarmed by how the cases have currently been rising. And here at Texas Children's, the hospitalizations have about doubled in the last month. It was this time last year we first heard anything about the Delta variant. Since then, we've seen the Omicron variant, and now it's BA4 and BA5, which are subvariants of Omicron and unrecognizable by our immune system, but says Dr. Paul Klotman. There's a fourfold resistance of this particular strain to antibodies that you would have developed for against the Omicron. Today, leaders from the Texas down. Medical Center had a briefing on how hospitalizations and cases are on the rise among adults. I went to Texas Children's to find out if the same is happening here. We are at a place now with more than 40 children currently hospitalized under 18, where uh, it's certainly comparable to prior surges. Dr. Versalovic says kids should get vaccinated before school starts and reminds parents five and up are eligible for a booster too. And so parents need to be vigilant about protecting those children. Doctors admit with at home tests, it's been difficult to say exactly how many cases exist. But Houston is a leader in measuring viral load in the wastewater, which doesn't lie. You can't really get around it. The testing in the wastewater in Houston indicates sort of the, the amount of positive viral load in the community. The exact number, 843%, doesn't make a lot of sense. But what it really means is there's more than eight times the amount of viral load out there today than what was in the wastewater in July 2020. And doctors are still encouraging you to get a vaccine, get whatever booster you are eligible for, even though they do see the antibodies from those vaccines wane over time. They say that the boost you get after every vaccination will only help you. Reporting live in the Texas Medical Center, I'm Haley Hernandez, KPRC 2 News.